Hello. Lesson Amazing Energy. Module Mechanical Energy. In this module we will be learning about mechanical energy. Mechanical energy consists of two forms of energy that is potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy is the energy possessed by a body by the virtue of its position. An example for potential energy will help you understand what it is better. So as you can see here, there is a dam and it consists of water. And the gates of the dam are closed. Because of the water that is stored in the dam, the dam now possesses potential energy. That is, potential energy is the energy possessed by a body by the virtue of its position. Because of the storage of the large quantity of dam water in the dam, it is said to possess potential energy. You can think of potential energy as the potential of an object to have motion. Okay, once this potential is realized or once there is an outlet for motion, then this energy is converted to motion. This you can see in the second image here. As soon as the gates are open, the water rushes outwards. So there is motion. From potential energy, you have motion and energy possessed by a body by the virtue of its motion is called as kinetic energy. Let us understand both potential and kinetic energy more deeply in detail. Another example for conversion of potential energy to kinetic energy is shown here. Here you can see a girl holding a ball and is standing on a high place. Because she is standing at a high place, the ball now has potential energy. That is, if allowed, the ball will now undergo motion. And then, as soon as the ball is let go, it is transformed into motion. Or, the potential energy is transformed into kinetic energy during its downward motion. In the next example, you have to decide which one of these two has potential or kinetic energy. In the first picture, you can see a boy who is holding a ball in a high place. Does this have potential or kinetic energy? In the next picture, you can see that the ball is now rolling downwards. So, when it is rolling downwards, does it have potential or kinetic energy? The answer is, when the ball is placed in a high position, it has potential energy due to its high position. And once the motion has been started, there is kinetic energy due to its motion. Okay, so potential energy is present when there is, when the ball is in high position and it is converted to kinetic energy as soon as the motion starts. Okay. Next, you have to guess which one of the two bricks that the boy is holding has potential energy. You can see there are two big bricks here. One is on the ground and one is hold, being held by the boy. So the one on the ground is at low level or ground level. And the boy is holding the brick in his hand up to some height. So it is at this height from the ground. So which one of these two do you think has potential energy? The correct answer is the brick that is being held by the boy has the potential to fall. Correct? So this one has potential energy. The brick that is on the ground does not have potential energy. So as I told you, you can understand potential energy as the potential of an object to move, in this case, to fall to the ground. 
Next, you have to guess which one of these two images has kinetic energy. Which one of the cars has kinetic energy? Does the moving car have kinetic energy? Or does the parked car have kinetic energy? The correct answer is the moving car. Energy that is in a body by the virtue of its motion is called kinetic energy. That is why objects need to be in motion to possess kinetic energy. Therefore, moving car has kinetic energy whereas parked car does not have kinetic energy. Let us understand about the different applications of mechanical energy. A very common application of mechanical energy is the generation of electricity. As you can see here in the first picture, turbines are used to generate electricity using mechanical energy. We have all learned that water that is stored in dams contains potential energy. When the gates are opened or when there is an outlet for this stored water, it is converted into kinetic energy. So, this kinetic energy can be used to rotate the turbines which then generate electricity. This is known as hydroelectric power generation. Let us now look into a summary of what we have learnt in this module. We have learned that mechanical energy is the sum of potential and kinetic energy. Potential energy is that energy of a body present due to its position. And kinetic energy is that energy that is present due to motion. That is the end of this module. In the next module, we will start heat energy.